Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S on Nintendo Switch. Last episode, we defeated the giant spider monster in the basement of the church and saved all the fighters who were kidnapped. Turns out Vince was behind it all. Jerk. Anyway, we accepted our reward for winning the MMA tournament and had to face off against Vince, who died in two hits. Yeah, he died in two hits. And uh, Rab, here, our buddy... Our old friend, he stole the rainbow from the st from the fighter's place, and he took it to Dundrasil, which is where he's holding a hostage for us. So yeah, that's a problem, and it makes me wonder why we even did any of this fighting thing when Rab could have just stolen it from the, like in the first place. He could have he could have just he he literally could have just stolen it from this guy like right there, and then we didn't have to do any of this. Fighter stuff. I'm guessing he was investigating and he wanted to find out what was happening to the fighters, so there's that. Anyway, everyone in town is a fan of me, and these are my fans right here. Look at them, they're so excited to see me. But, of course, business as usual, we have to head over to Dundrasil, the birthplace of the Luminary. I wonder why Rab wants to meet me there. It's a bit suspicious. Right, let's head outside now. You know what? We're gonna walk over to Dun uh, no, not walk. We're gonna ride our horse over to Dund Dundrasil. Now, Dundrasil, as you know from the opening cutscene, was destroyed by. Did I bring? Is Veronica okay? Cause she died in the, in the boss fight. Okay, she's fine. I get worried about her, you know. Oh, she's so innocent. She needs to be protected at all costs. Cause how weak she is. Anyway, Dundrasil got destroyed, and Luminary got. Put it in a basket, rowing across the sea. Not to see the river. Okay, there's that big guy. So that's the Vardish region. Dundrasil is this way. I'm gonna avoid these guys and rush all over there. Oh, the the area is loading. That's a switch version for ya. Uh, there's something here. Around this corner. There might be some treasure here. You always gotta check to see. Alright, let's look for that there treasure. Oh, this is a big area. Let's get off the horse and investigate a little bit. Nothing... Anything here? Nope, nothing there. That's just a cliff I'm gonna fall off. Oh, enemies! Yikes, okay. Baddies, as I call them. Chunk of silver ore. Oh! He, he's running. These guys do not give up. I don't I don't like those cactus guys. They're creepy. Okay, anything else around here I can investigate? Hmm. There's not much else. Alright, let's hop back on our trusty steed. Who does not have a name. But he's still he's still a good boy. Okay, and looks like Dundrasil is here. And I run to any baddies on the way. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, this game has full weather, I, I just remembered. So the weather changes as the days go by, which is awfully cool. Now, this area has is a, is a good place for metal slime hunting. Most people don't realize it. There's going to be some ar armored knights around here. If you attack them, they sometimes have they sometimes have metal slimes associated with them. Silver ore, that's not bad. We could probably build something cool with that. There's a cow who's probably gonna tell me about the weather. Our bovine friend. Okay. A butterfly wing. That's disgusting. There's a taco sitting in this oh. Treasure. Treasure ahoy. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Uh, the Rod of Rapidity. Holy... Uh, the Rainbow was bait... Wait, wait. What, what was Eric saying? The Algar played us. We fell for it. Hook, line, sinker. The Rainbow was bait. He was trying to lure you to him. What do you gotta say? Why would old Rap tell you to meet him in Dunder Soul? Can you really just have chosen your hometown by chance? Eh, what do you have to say? Uh, 
hate how uh, Veronica felt is all left out because of this. I'm gonna talk to her now. My little boar. Where is she? Uh, hello. She's had enough of it. <laughs> Sultan. Yeah, it, 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 she's right. It is hard to get the, the rainbow. I do want to investigate a little more these ruins because I feel like there might be... Oh, you see that? It's a golem. That would be bad news if I fought him. Oh, a shilling. A Brazilian shilling. I actually should keep that, if I'm being honest, because... If you lose it, then what the heck? Oh, 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 oh no. It's not good. Well, here's here's Dundrasil. As you can see, it's uh, it's seen better days. And that tower up there must be where Luminaire is born. That's the castle. Let's investigate Dundrasil a little bit. So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities, and that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor, too. The poor thing was only visiting. But I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents, after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us. So... Oh. He lit the torches, looks like. Man, this is Dundrasil, where the Luminary's parents were killed and where all the mysterious happenings happened. Why are Rap and Jay making us come all the way here? What are they plotting? Yeah, it is time to get some answers. This is very mysterious. I wonder. Strange that we were made to come to the place where you were born. Coincidence? Yeah, it seems like an odd coincidence. Get out of the way so I can talk to her! Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, those two torches, that's where Rab should be. Let's see now. Oh, that's a dragon! Holy crap. That, that would not be a, a good fight. There's got to be some treasure hidden around here, though. There's, like, you know, ruin from the ruins. But this place was probably ransacked afterwards for years. It's been, like, 20 years or something since uh, Dungeons got destroyed. Yeah, there's not much. Oh, what is this? Magic Beast Hide. That's got to be, like, a shield. Slime. Oh, he looks friendly. Oh, he's not a bad slime. Something surprising. This well goos all the way to the castle. You can you can ooze it to get where those brazier things are. Okay, so we can use this well to get over there. I'm still gonna investigate a little bit more. Because there's gotta be some good items to get. Okay, not gonna be able to get up there. Maybe there's a ladder of some sort. Yeah, those dragons would not be a good a good fight. I could probably use Dragon Slash to kill them. They might be good for grinding, possibly. Any way to get up there? Well, I can hide. Wonder what I could do with that. Here's another building that got destroyed. Not much here. Sorry, I just like investigating everywhere, because, you know, you never know what kind of secrets might be hidden. 
Who knows, we might learn something about Dundrasil by investigating around. Okay, I think that's enough. We should go to that, that well that the that the slime was talking about. Cut because it looks like the castle entrance is blocked up by rubble. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to get over that. Right, let's head on down. Jump around right to a well. All right, anything good here? Not much there. Hmm. There's no treasure or anything down here, so we'll just head on up. Go and see Rabin Jade once and for all, see what they want. Okay, so I know there's some stuff hidden hidden around here. There's a, there's a there's stuff hidden for building the Drazilian armor. I know that for a fact. So I just gotta find that stuff. Let's see. Is it around here somewhere? There's Rab. <laughs> so you made it at last. Yep, we're here. Now where's the, the rainbow? What do you want us here for? Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Yeah, where is she? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came though, as am I. Hmm. It's not like we had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? wonder what he's playing at. I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. He knows. <gasps> Wait. How could you... He saw the mark on the hand. I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. It's really interesting. Who is Rab? What's his deal? Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. Rab is so mysterious right now, but I think we'll figure out what's going on. Like, how could he know? He's so he's really slow also at running, I think. Yeah, you gotta you gotta savor the moment by walking slowly with him. I like that he know that I was luminary. This is bad he's figured out who I am. Like Rab has there's a little more to Rab than we realize. What's he trying to show me? What's over here? This is Dundrasil after all. This way, laddie. This is a really great part of the game, so I'm gonna keep quiet. Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. Retirement. <laughs> so he's from he's from Dundrasil then. And then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. The rab used to live here. He's, the, he's from Dundrasil. The 
What's this? Somebody's grave? Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Rab is the Luminary's grandfather. Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. He's the old king of Nundersil. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. And I've been on the road ever since. Isn't this crazy? So, so Rabbit is the, the, the grandfather of the Luminary and they're finally reunited. Uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He changed. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the dark spawn. Carnelian believed in the Luminary before? Uh, he's not a man I knew any longer. Foxy blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth. After all, the scene gets me so much just every time. <laughs> Such a great scene, especially the next the next part. That I'm alive, laddie. Against all the odds and and now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. <laughs> now Will you humor an old man a while longer? There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. Ritual. So Rob and Luminary are going to go off on their own. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Oh, I thought he was gonna go alone. All right, here is the the item I was talking about. Strong medicine. That's not what I meant. Down here, we're gonna explore a little bit, and then we'll go help Rab out. So Rab is Luminaire's grandfather. He is the original king of Dundrasil. Before his son-in-law Erwin took over, dressed like a Drazilian. All right, nice. And finally, Rab and Luminary are together again. Brave. Here lie King Erwin and Queen, Queen Eleanor of Dundrasil. There, there he is, waiting for us. Oh, wouldn't it be interesting if there was something hidden down there? If there's... Oh, isn't that kind of interesting? How there's a bunch of rocks here and there's some sort of hidden thing? What's the point of this place, right? Ooh. Very mysterious, indeed. <laughs> I keep I, I keep giving stuff away, but yes, yeah, so th there's gonna you're, there's gonna be something with that area later on. Oh, a Drazilian sovereign. 
All right, Rob, I'm here. Starting night time. Your grandfather's royalty. I had no idea. I hope I wasn't rude to him. <laughs> well, that's true. You'd never known they were royalty. Mr. Rab made it himself. Rituals meant to send the souls of the dead to a better place. Oh yeah, we should help Rab out. He is an old man after all. Must be hard to trek up the hill alone. Hey, laddie. Alright, we're almost there. Is that it? Oh my goodness, Eric's like ruining the moment by spinning around in circles. Looks like we're here. Okay. All right, Rob, is this where you wanted to show me? Or it's a, it's a little bit further up ahead. He's very slow because you know you gotta you gotta savor the moment a little bit more. I was hoping she wasn't rude to him. Is it through his cave? It's a really long trek. Well, we're almost there. The Altar of Souls? Yeah, that's where we need to be. Veronica, get out of his way. <laughs> she had to get out of his way because he was... Like, hey, out of my way, lassie. <laughs> the long walk. Jade. Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Princess. Wait, you don't mean if the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me. Only members of the Dracilian royal family may perform the ritual. The only mean Rab can be here. Do the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. If she doesn't want to explain it. You just follow my lead. 
All right, laddie. All right. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. If you're killed by a monster, your soul can't be at rest. The smoke guides them back to where they belong, to Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. So many of them. Sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? You left me that that uh, necklace thing. Oh, and the letter. What'd she do? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh yeah, she did tell me to go see King Carnelian. Oh. If only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie. You've been through so much. You could say that. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor... The journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. fine uh this is a really emotional scene grab's gonna have to be left alone for a little bit hey rab oh, i look so sad all right, we'll, we'll leave Rab alone for a little bit. Hey, Veronica. It'd be a lot easier if we could just fly up to Idris with, like, all those butterflies. Okay. Now's not the time to be saying silly things. Where's Idrisil? I can't see the tree for some reason. Anyway, we should head back and talk to the others. There's Eric. Hey. Figure out who the girl is. Who is she? Oh, the princess of Heliodor. That's who Jade is. The girl at the beginning of the uh, in the cutscene who apparently died. She survived actually. Wasn't the queen brave rescuing the way she did? Veronica and I must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. Uh, she looks very sad. Also, there's Silvando. And there is the mysterious woman, Jade. Lady Eleanor. <gasps> Who's there?
You weren't supposed to see that. Or supposed to see her crying. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? Yeah, okay. Take a little walk with Jade now. My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So, in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. Turn rain. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Oh no, it's Ellie, Dory. Wait, up They tracked us down. This isn't good. Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. How do they manage to find us? It's so weird. Heliodor. How do they know we were here? Come on. We need to get back to the others. Yeah, we're gonna warn the others before they get captured. Where's the Heliodorian forces? They're down. Okay, we gotta we gotta go this way. Jeez. You okay? Okay, let's return. Quickly warn everyone. Or Hendrik catches them. Hendrik's probably here right now. How do they know? But is it like a spy or somebody like telling them where to go? Oh, they're there too. That's not good. Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the darkspawn? They must have seen the butterflies and came here. No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him. What? Oh crap! This guy. He's over here. The dark spawn is over here. All right, time to go. Time to go. Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, we're up. there's too many of them. are surrounded. What shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the dark spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. Time for some ass kicking time. Kick them right in the face. Not bad, Jade. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Just running to center to Hendrick. Chicken. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Yeah, I've got to go before Hendrik gets here. Holy crap. All right, let's let's run. The baddies are over there. There's Hendrik. Damn it, he caught up to us. This guy is such a he's such a pest. You are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. That's how he tracked us down. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward. Get ready for a fight. Hendrik versus Luminary. This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. 
He's way too angry. <laughs> He's like way, way too angry. Wait, who? It's a really high cliff. He's he's. You will evade me no longer, Dark Spawn. The chase ends here. Hedrick, don't you dare! Oh, he remembers her. Princess Jade? Surely not. Oh no. No! Hold on! Princess! That's the Princess of Heliodor, so. Hendrick basically. Oh, that's what happened. I won't let you go again. That was so angry looking, like he looks so pissed off. <laughs> All right. What next? Some sort of cabin. Jared, where do we wake up? Dundrasil region still. So there must be a cabin nearby. Oh, there she is. Oh, good. You're awake. <laughs> I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? Yes, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. She sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. Ow. That night, the night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but... the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you, Rab, fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind. That someone must be... controlling him. And Cornelia's being brainwashed? That would make a lot of sense. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. I'll say. Oh, it's daytime. Looks like the rain's dying down. 
We should head back to Dundrasil. Yeah, hopefully everyone's okay. Then he get caught by the Heliodorian forces. Let's head off. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave a fire burning without putting it out. That's not very safe. But whatever, let's just leave. Especially in a completely wooden cabin. Oh, hello. Dear. It's awfully calm with us around. You okay, Jade? She swears she will never let me go again. Wow, that's some dedication. Alright, I hope I hope everyone's okay. Uh, here we go. Save spot. We have a lot of money. I forgot about that. Of course we're gonna continue. We gotta see what happens next. I don't even know where we are. Okay, now I know where we are. We're right around the corner from Dundrasil. Okay, so we'll just head on over. Imagine carrying around the giant skull because you just have to. There's some trolls here, or what are those? Those are orcs. Yeah, that's, that's the Dragon Quest orc. Oh my god, it's him again, Hendrik. I thought we, we lost him. That never gives up. Sir Hendrik. Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. Now he's been a, a knight. <laughs> but should you choose to continue to side with the child of darkness, you may not live for much longer. Oh, he's threatening her now. Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. He's way too loyal. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. Oh, she's gonna fight him. She's gonna fight him now. Let's go. Let's see this. But it has. Jade versus Hendrik. She's gonna kick him in the face. Whoa. Damn, she's like really good at martial arts. Impressive, princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Yeah, Rab trained her really well. I gotta say. Oh please, I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the dark spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you. Here he comes. Oh, he hesitated for a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, we stole his horse. He's he's getting pissed about that now. Now hold on tight. Again, I just got my horse stolen by these two people. Princess, what have you become? What have you become? Chasing down some guy. Alright, we stole Hendrix's horse. Nice. Nice nice job team. Oh, where's his horse at? Where's Jade? There she is. Maybe. Right, Hendrick hadn't faltered, we'd be done for. Alright, so... Where's the team at? Oh, there they are. They're just waiting for us.
There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. Though thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. The Rob knows Hendrik. First time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Yeah, he's still really bitter about that. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named His name, finally. Mordigan. That's the name of the villain of Dragon Quest XI, Mordigan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. Oh, good job finding out about him. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Mordigan. Which is why you're going to have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. We are the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. Yeah, that is true. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Something in Yggdrasil to fight the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? There's something there for me. Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the world tree. Finally, we have the rainbow. <laughs> If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Nice, we finally got it. Well, can you see anything? Don't tell me it's a dud! If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle it! <laughs> told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. Yeah, good plan. We'll not give you any bother, I promise. No, no, I definitely want you guys to join me. That A big team is a good team. Rab and Jane, Jade joined the party. Nice. We got two really good, awesome party members now. I think I'll replace Serena with Rab now. Because he's a really a better healer. And Jade, she's crazy good. Just watch. She's awesome. Where's my team at? Hey, hey fellas. The Force of Evil taking hold of Heliodor? Uh, hello, Veronica. She's so happy that Rab and Jade decided to join us. Yep, her <laughs> some of those leadership skills that I'm lacking. I have, I have leadership skills. I have plenty of leadership skills. The power to overcome the darkness lies within Yggdrasil. So something is in Yggdrasil waiting for me. The power to defeat darkness. All right, we gotta head over there then. Let's talk to my other new party members. Let's have a nice week. Real shame about the rainbow. When you get moving, you'll never know when soldiers will come back for us. Hello, Jade. Yes. All we succeed in learning is the name Mordigan. We feared we had reached a dead end, but things have changed. So Mordigan is the villain. He's the he's the phantom that we need to defeat. Operating from the shadows, so he must he must have taken over taken control of Heliodor somehow or changed the the king of Heliodor's mind 
What's this? Hey, the branch. It's Boeing. Did you see it? It was so pretty. It was some sort of vision. A sort of platform floating in the sky. And six colored orbs. Colored orbs, that sounds familiar. <gasps> oh, I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform, and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Exactly. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. Uh. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. So the red orb is what we needed this whole time. There was a meaning behind it from the very beginning. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Well, I did get it back from those griffins myself, after all. It's not like it belonged to you, anyway. Alright, I have the red orb, so we already have one of the orbs. That's awesome. Oh, a second one? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was, all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. But we already have two of the orbs. That's awesome. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. There's four orbs left now. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Can't remember the details though. Giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. So she heard about that. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Mm -hmm. hmm. oh, what's his deal? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. Alright, so... Our team is all together and we're ready to head off. Where do we go, though? <laughs> like the six orbs, return to first forest. No idea where to find them. Port of Valor, that's where they told us to go, right? There's something I want to talk to you about. Knew the rainbow was special, wasn't expecting to be able to do anything like that. Now I know exactly what to do. Hmm. hmm. Why does Sylvander look like that? Interesting. Alright, that's a little weird, but whatever. Now this dude right here is friends with some metal slime, so you know what? I think it's time to test out our new party members, if you ask me. Okay, you are going to replace... I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. The twins. The twinsies. Let's go. Ah, it's just a fungal. Or a mushroom mage, as they call it. 
<laughs> oh, nice. Jade is tough. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Oh wow, so with these two on my team, I can easily defeat everyone now. Like, like the the team is all assembled, you know? All right, let's, let's look for more Metal Slimes. I know Metal Slimes pop up with this guy. Knight Errant. Hip drop. That's a crazy move. Wow. Flame slash him. Yeah, nice. Oh, so that didn't work. Come on, Rab. Nice. So Rab's, Rab's spells are really good. Serena just leveled up. She learned Zing. That's not bad. She, she can bring people back to life now. So that's going to be very, very useful. Alright, Port of Valor is where we should go. So... Let's zoom somewhere nearby. Okay, uh... Zvardras C. So we're going to go to our boat immediately. Just by zooming. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, now we're on the the inland sea. Let's check the map again, and Porto Valor should be down there. Of course, I can't zoom there yet, so we're gonna make our way over there. Hopefully, there's not too many guys to fight on the way over there. That's the whole world map. Oh, it's turning nighttime. Okay. There's some stops nearby also, but we should stop by Portable first. Oh, it spoke too soon. Wow, those guys look like umbrellas. Broly mit Mitator. Wow, that was a one-hit kill. Alright, we're gonna try sizzing him. Oh, it didn't do anything. Oh wow, he has a really good spell that attacks everyone. Not bad at all. How much gold? I have a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold I got. Our Puerto Varlor. It's supposed to be like Spain. That's what I'm guessing at least. And that should be it right there. Group of enemies. Wow, she killed him in one hit. Uh, yeah, I think I'll attack this guy. We've gotten so tough after our last fight that these guys are just a piece of cake. Alright, not bad. Another day, another victory. Another day, another victory. Veronica leveled up to level 18. Kasap. Now we'll wait till she gets more skill points. No, no reason to spend them now. All right, let's head on over here. That should be the poor town. It's not a poor town; it's just a coastal town. The Costa Valor. Not bad at all. All right, so it's very. Sandy here. And there's a lot of baddies here. Oh, it looks like there's a hidden cave here. Let's run through it. And there's a lot of these mists here, so we gotta... Oh, crap, avoid them. Crimson Coral. Alright, this is a wide area. Slime Knights. The campsite here. There's gotta be a lot of treasure hidden around here that I don't, I don't know about yet. The 
Mangle Grove and Mount Panglai is up ahead. We should probably head back to Costa Val to Puerto Valor, though. That's where we were heading. All right, so we're gonna go across this land bridge right here, in between these rocks, and there it is. That that should be Puerto Valor. Wait a minute. What was that? Is he sparkling? That wasn't in the original. Alright, let's try this. Drake Slime, you're dead. Here you go, laddie. Alright. Keep trying to attack these guys. And our defense go down. some. <laughs> Alright, not bad. And now you can ride the Slime Knight. So what, he's just standing there for me now? He's just gonna give it up? <laughs> Balancing. <laughs> Look at this, I'm holding his sword and I can swing it around and attack attack stuff while, while wearing this. Let me see if I can attack these sunflowers. Group of not childs. Oh, we're dancing now. <laughs> Look at her dance. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Look at the slime knight. He's like grabbing on, like holding on to the the thing. This is a funny co a new new mount we have. I don't think we get something like that. finish here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! What? That was weird. What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. Oh, Don Rodrigo doesn't know. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way. All right. All right, understood. The Rab, the, Rab kind of travels around the world, and he doesn't really tell people that he's a king. He kind of keeps it to himself. That's really cool. He's like a traveling dude who used to be a king. And he's like all badass and stuff. Rab's pretty awesome. All right, let's save. Hello. Yes, we'd like to overwrite. Alright, thanks for the save. And you know what, I think I'll end today's episode here. That was a long episode. We finally found out the origin of Rab, what his deal was, who Jade is, and everything. And uh, we got the rainbow, we got two orbs, and we know what our mission is, to defeat Mortigan. So a lot, this, this is really where the game opens up, you know. This is where it, it starts. So next episode is sure to be really exciting. See you then. Bye.